what's up everyone today i'm going to show you how to fix the power button on a ps2 slim when my husband was modding ours he accidentally ripped the little button here let me see if it'll zoom in this little white piece here he actually ripped it off the board so i had to order a new one and i'm going to show you how to install it first things first make sure that there's no cds or any games in here Flip it over, and you're going to notice these little, I guess, tabs, you want to call it, on the back. There's six of them that you want to remove. This one, here, on the other side, these two middle ones, and those. Now you're going to reveal the six screws here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and you're going to want to... I think it's a double zero size screwdriver and you're just gonna undo those and open up the console now for those of you that don't remember right to make it tight left to make it loose or righty tighty lefty loosey depending on what you were taught when you were younger Um, I will be doing a GameCube mod video as soon as my mod chip comes in and I'll make sure I get that on video as well. That requires some soldering, but it shouldn't be too difficult from what I've seen. Okay, now all six screws are taken out. Best thing to do is have them off to the side or in a little container so you don't lose them, but this is my workbench so it's easy to find everything. Next thing you're going to want to do it should come apart slightly easy. There are some tabs. <clears throat> it's hard to do this while keeping it on camera. There we go. Now don't be afraid of the snapping. It's just the clips. Just be firm, but not too crazy. You still have to be a little gentle. And this spot here likes to get stuck. There we go. Alright. You don't need this right now. What you're going to focus on is this little piece here. This ribbon comes out. If you destroyed it, you just yank it out and just stick the replacement in. But my, my ribbon cable stayed in decent shape. It was just this. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your little power piece here. This is where you're going to be plugging the ribbon into on the other end. And this is your power button right here. So make sure that this is facing in the front. Now you're going to notice right here, let me see if I can move the camera. Right about here is where you're going to place the power button. It'll fit really nicely into your grooves as you can see like this. <clears throat> there we go. Now let's plug this bad boy in. Now to make sure that you have it the right direction, you want to make sure that the contacts are touching the other contacts inside of the white piece here otherwise it won't work so let me take a quick peek oops without dropping and breaking things looks like it goes in with the blue facing this way out towards you there we go simple as that stick it into its little socket are. It's as simple as that and now you just replace the cover. Now be careful not to do what my husband did and rip the button off again because sometimes it will snag on this part of the console. Flip it upside down. Just push it into place. Check around all the edges, make sure it all snaps. Looks like this is good. Now we lay it back on its side, or back on its back, and replace the screws. Now a tip that I 
usually offer to people that are new to taking these things apart always take pictures of your steps that way in case you lose something or forget how something goes you can always refer back to your photos or video if you decide to take video but really guys it's this simple uh, taking the PlayStation apart is really that simple as well if you were to mod your PlayStation 2 it's very similar in what you would need to do to take it apart there's a couple sensors that you need to uh, replace or cover rather but uh, it's not too difficult And voila, completely closed. Buttons still work. You can still depress the power button just fine. And I'll show you when it's plugged in. All right, guys, now I'm going to test out and see if PlayStation works. Before, when I tried to turn it on, it would immediately shut off. So as long as it stays on, we definitely fixed it. So far, so good. And there we have it. GTA Vice City. And one working PS2 Slim.